Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash and we're back with more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate The World of Light Adventure Mode Replay. This is part 9. As usual, we'll resume where we left off. Now, believe it or not, we've almost got everything on the left side of the map almost done. There's that little bridge that's right there that's being blocked. That's because we have to go over to that portal and complete everything in there and then we can open that bridge up for us to cross. So we're almost done with everything on the left side, which is technically apparently most of the map as you can see. So we're kind of sort of halfway done almost with this area, this whole area should I say, but we're not quite done just yet. So we can't go getting ourselves too excited. But in the meantime, however, let's just go ahead and just continue on and see where we go to next. So let's just get on with the program, shall we? So we left it off right here because Obviously, the last switch that'll open that gate up for that blue icicle portal right there is right here. So, if we get that pink switch, it'll open up the last gate that's locking it. And there's also a fighter blocking it as well. So, we can get a fighter and the switch. So, let's go ahead and do it. First off, we gotta get Panther Carlso, or however you say his name, but he's from Star Fox. The enemy has increased move speed. Oh, is that a girl? Because he's holding a rose. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a guy. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the Star Fox character, so I don't know, but anyway. As you can see, I'm playing as Princess Peach, because if you if you, if you you follow me in my last video... Oh my... Wow. Wow. Just, wow. That's how we're going to start this off. I try to go for the side B... And Wolf moves out of the way, and I end up suiciding off the map. Wow, way to do me dirty, game. Okay, now that just made me mad already. I don't even normally get mad at this game, because I have it on very easy, and every fight is usually easy, but somehow I went for a move too soon, and I ended up falling off the map. Wow. I'm almost already mad already, because that was just bullcrap. No bullshit, should I say. I don't care what I say when it comes to YouTube anymore, I cuss now, but I'll try not to, only I usually say those words when I'm getting mad, but never mind. Sorry guys, that was just a terrible way to start things off, but anyway, as I was saying, I was playing as Princess Peach because if you guys followed me in my last video, um, who's this character, is from Fire Emblem, okay, we'll get it. But this character that I'm playing as Princess Peach, in the last video I think I ended it with either Link or Wii Fit Trainer, one of the two characters. I think it was Link. I played as Wii Fit Trainer, but I think I also switched back to Link. And when I got Princess Peach and Bowser, I decided that I said in my last video after it was over that I'm going to be playing as both Princess Peach and Bowser. So I'm going to start with Princess Peach first because I can play a little bit of Princess Peach as well as Daisy, you know. They're a bit fun to play as. And then I Bowser, with him being my former third favorite character, it's Wii Fit Trainer now, but with Bowser being my former one, who's pretty much now like my fourth favorite, I'm pretty good with him, so at some point I'll switch with Bowser as well. But anyway, um, we're gonna get Fox. Awesome. Fox is the next character we can unlock to uh, add to our our fighters collection to select. Ready? Go. Okay, I went for it too soon. Should have really had did that up B while he could have. He could have made it back on the map, but apparently the AI didn't do that. But nothing OS, we defeated Fox, and he's free from Galeem's control, and now he's joined the team. So here he is. Alrighty, so uh it takes care of that. Now we can get that switch open. And you know it's very appropriate that we're getting it open with Princess Peach because take a look at that water right there. It's kind of shaped in a circle, and that's pretty much kind of Peach's like logo, sort of a heart. A pink heart, so it's kind of appropriate that we're getting this open with Peach and the fact that the switch is pink, so it kind of makes it feel a lot more appropriate. But check it out now that we've got the last switch open, here it is. The gate has finally opened, so now we can get through. Awesome! Oh, and this area now clears too, that's cool. So, anyway, let me see. So, uh, we can do either two things, we can actually go into that that warp pipe and actually enter there and collect some more stuff or we could like we could actually go into that warp pipe and go all the way over here and then go back the way we came or we could just go walk and everything but it doesn't really matter but I'll just walk I'll think about maybe if I want to jump into the gray warp pipe or not when we get closer to it but here's this character I think this is a me plaza character I believe it said I'm not sure but her name is 
Coraline. Kind of like the character Coraline from the horror movie, sort of. That's a pretty good movie, actually. I haven't seen that movie in so long, but Coraline's a classic. Coraline's, like, literally a classic. And I did also check out the book about it, too. When I used to be in Walks at your school, they actually had a book, the book Coraline. I was, it was kind of amazing. Like, it was a bit different, but sort of similar to the movie. So it was, a uh, it was pretty cool, you know. I mean, Coraline, it's quite a popular franchise, you know. Alright, so which way do I want to go? Oh, uh, let's go this way, because there's, a uh, there's a treasure chest, but first we gotta take out the Great Fairy from Legend of Zelda. Ooh, FC meter charges quickly. The final smash meter. Yikes. Oh, we're fighting giant Zelda. I like this costume of Zelda. This isn't her main costume in this game. It's like pink, whatever, and she's got blonde hair. But what I really like about this costume is that it really is kind of pretty much basically just Twilight Princess Zelda. Because in the last two Super Smash Bros. game before this one, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and then Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS, this was kind of technically Zelda's main costume in the game. Or pretty much, basically, it was Twilight Princess Zelda, like they went with the Twilight Princess variation of her. So this is very appropriate in my... Ah, man. Well, that's fine. I don't know if I was going to be able to escape it. Ah, I missed. There we go. But as I was saying, so Twilight Princess Zelda was the main Zelda that they used for Bra Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Wii U 3DS 4. So, it's pretty cool that that costume is kind of basically inspiration. I think it's basically the inspiration for that costume, but it's pretty cool, you know. I played it in it, I played it, play in it sometimes when I select Zelda, because, you know, sometimes, you know, seeing Zelda with brown hair is not bad. I mean, Zelda's usually a blonde head, but when she used brown hair for uh, Breath of the Wild, I thought it wasn't a bad choice, you know. She's still mostly a blonde head in the end, but brown choice, but brown hair wasn't a bad choice for her in the main, in the Legend of Zelda Breath, uh, Twilight Princess version, you know. Plus, I love Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, so there's another. Ah, yes, this song. Well, actually, I don't exactly remember it. I don't keep up with music that much, but all right. Um, let me get some more spirits. Espresso from Donkey Kong. Said the enemy falls slowly. Stage is pretty slippery as well. Or stage platforms are slippery. <laughs> Slap. Slapped him. Just with the hand. I think that's technically like the A move when you do with Peach. You can do like an A combo. I think she just slaps her opponents. It's pretty funny, actually. But then again, it's Princess Peach, so... Shy Guy. From Super Mario. This is pretty cool. I think the Mii is gonna... Tr this is a Mii brawler that we're fighting for... So I believe uh, the Mii's... Or one of the Mii's is gonna dress up as Shy Guy. Oh, all three of them are. Cool. So it's like we're fighting a Shy Guy army pretty much. Even though it's not the real Shy Guy, but cool. So we're fighting uh, all three variations of the Mii's. Mii brawler, Mii gunner, and Mii sword fighter. The only ones that's just left now is Mii brawler. Oh, look, listen to the music. So that's the, I think that's, like, Super Mario Brothers 2 music, or Super Mario Brothers, I think it's Super Mario Bros. 2, isn't it? I don't know, but it's that music from the game. And it's pretty cool how, like, when there's only one character left, the music just changed, as you heard there, so that's pretty cool. Just sinks in very well, you know? Boke Bokeblin? Bokeblin? It's kind of like a Moblin, but it's called a Bokeblin. Apparently a different version of a Moblin or something from Legend of Zelda. But anyway, the enemy starts the battle with the club. And we gotta fight three King K. Rules. Three tiny King K. Rules, should I say. I didn't pay attention. But nothing else. We get it done. There's nothing for me to worry about. Oh, this is a club. I didn't even know that thing was a club, honestly. I did not know that. Do they have swords? Yeah, they have swords. Ba ding 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I learned recently that that term actually came from, uh, Negan from The Walking Dead. I was checking out some Walking Dead videos yesterday because that's a good series. I haven't watched the entire series, but that's a great series, though, The Walking Dead. It's crazy that it finally came to an end, like, last year or something or earlier this year, but it was a great series. Although the, the franchise ain't completely dead, they're still continuing on with this recent Negan and, uh... What is it called? Walking Dead something, but it's it's mason, but it mostly revolves around Negan and Maggie, pretty much. I forgot what it's called. I think it's I don't remember what the name of the series is called, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below. But it's a good series though. They actually have it on sale for Walmart right now. They have a the complete series on Walmart for sale, like the whole DVD pack from all eleven seasons, I think. They have a, I think season one through says it, season not seven of Fear the Walking Dead as well. Even though I don't know if that spin-off series is really that good, but you know, still, it's pretty crazy that series has been around for a very long time. I think it debuted in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. So that series has been around for like a whole decade now, and the series, even if it's now finally over, but with it still recently going on with the with the recent one where Megan and uh, Megan and, and Maggie are involved, it's it's still going strong. So the franchise still continues its popularity. It's had a lot of great characters over the years. Anyway, we were fighting Team Chaotic. I was familiar with that. Um, it was three different characters, but we took care of them all. But yeah, I learned that that term came from Negan. Like, there was a video talking about some of Negan's best quotes, and I'm like, Oh, he said that? I didn't know he was the one that made the term, uh, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Because apparently, originally, the first time I heard that was from Deadpool, when there was a death battle episode between him and Pinkie Pie, which I have reacted to it on my channel, if you guys want to check it out. It's a pretty fun episode. It was hilarious, actually. I love that episode of The Walking Dead. It was funny. Oh, treasure chest. Let me go ahead and get here real quick, then. Rock Mario. This is one of his powers from Super Mario Galaxy 2. I do remember having to use this. Although the only thing that... Only The only thing bad that I feel that comes out of it, though, from memory, is the fact that when I was... I had to use this power-up to get one of the green stars or something, whatever, in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Or maybe it was one of the Cosmos, but it was probably a green star. I don't know. I, I don't remember, but it was so hard, because I remember it was there was a certain star that was hard to collect, and... and it just gave me a lot of trouble, and I had to pl use Rock Mario for that. Like, I had to bounce off of, like, ropes or whatever in order to be able to time it just right, but I had a hard time. It was one of the hardest levels. Like, it really put me through a lot of, like, you know, anger, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, not to worry about that. And that's where the fighter's at, so when we have to go on that ice, we have to slide down that ice to go down there. So that's how we can get there, just to let you know. Although we're going to land back in the forest, though, but we'll get back up. And we got 3,000 skill uh, skill points, I think. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. So there's two different ways on how we can do this. We can either go up here, or we can just go all the way into that warp pipe and get across the ice and just go up there. I mean, I think we might have to go up there, honestly, because I don't think we can actually go up. Yeah, we can't actually go up. The ice will not allow us to go up. So yeah, we have to go into this warp pipe, actually. So we have no choice. And we can enter that portal as well. But before I do, though, I think I'm going to just probably quickly start doing... Or maybe I could save it for later, because that ship will actually lead us to that dust. So you know what? Maybe I could save it for later. Well, at least we have to get this one, the Freezy, out of our way so we can get to that portal. So maybe I'll do that later. Maybe I'll do the mountain later. I don't have to get him right now. <laughs> That's the Mario Brothers song, apparently. it's. I think it's a melody? I don't know. <laughs> nice. And it was only appropriate that we fought the Ice Climbers, too. I think that's where this thing comes from. I don't know, does it... I don't know if it comes from... No, I think it actually comes from Mario, but... It does kind of have... But I can imagine it being connected with the Ice Climbers, though. Oh, look at that little portal right there, apparently. Oh, we can go in it, I think, if we get that fighter. I don't know, should I get the fighter first, or should I go this way? Eh, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get it. I want to get the fighter. I want to get fighters, so let's go ahead and do it. Stage is slippery, though, so I better watch out. I, I, I have to collect that fighter, I'm sorry. 
even though it could wait till later if I wanted to, it doesn't matter because we're gonna have to get this whole area complete anyway, but let's just go ahead and do it. We have to fight Wii Fit Trainer. Ooh, Freezy. Can I use it? Out of her stomach. <laughs> I hit her in the stomach with that golf club. Like, really, the very end of the golf club just hit her right in the stomach or the side of her stomach, whatever it was. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's definitely gonna hurt. <laughs> Alright. So let's go up here. Yep. Just trying to make sure. This is a Pokemon, apparently. It said it starts with a weapon. I did read that. I think I dropped something, if I'm not mistaken, too. I think, yeah, I dropped something when I was leaning up on this TV here. This chair that I'm sitting in, I my mom's big TV is next to, uh, like, the end of my room almost, you know what I mean? So, uh, that's why sometimes some stuff be knocked over because I have, like, clothes up here, and then, you know, I have some other stuff, so I keep accidentally knocking some things over by accident. I don't mean to keep knocking stuff over, I'm sorry. Um... What did I drop exactly? I don't even know if I can see it because my room is dark. Let me turn my light on real quick. Or I'll be right back. I'm going to search for what I dropped. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it was just so dark I couldn't see. Wow, okay, that's what it was. Alright, we're good. Sorry. Never mind. We're all good. And as soon as I said all oh, good, and my arm leans up against it, and I knocked it over again. Oh my god, my luck. I am so... Dude, luck is just not on my side today, isn't it? Anyway, we're fighting this Condor spirit from Ice Climber, and Ridley's the main fighter, but we do have the Ice Climbers as well, but we have to really take care of Ridley. Which was way too easy. <laughs> About to get ready to swing for the fences on the ice climbers there, but Ridley was really the one that we needed to KO. And I had to switch spirits because it was an ice immunity as well, which means we could have froze if we kept touching it, so... I had to switch. The path is frozen solid. You'll probably slip if you continue. Yeah, I know. At least it warns you. At least it gives you a warning in case if you decide to go there. And yep, we can get Bomberman. I do see a treasure chest. I saw that. I saw a little corner of it slipping out, so... Okay, I don't know that song. Um... Which way? Do we have to go that way? Yeah, we have to, we have to. It's the only way we can go if we want to slip down there, so yeah. Stamina battle. I think after a couple minutes, after a couple more fights, I'll probably finally switch to Bowser, because like I said in the beginning of this video, I was going to play as Princess Peach and Bowser, so... I've had pretty good call. I've had a pretty good time here playing as Princess Peach, but I'm probably gonna switch out pretty soon because we're kind of getting halfway towards this video. So I'm gonna. Ugh. That was not cool. Well, that did not go well. I can't even jump very high. I don't think. Oh, it was a stamina battle. Yeah, I forgot it was a stamina battle. <sighs> wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I don't know, maybe got a little overexcited or something. I don't know. Maybe I just got distracted by something. I mean, what is it to be distracted by anyway? I don't know. Anyway, so if we wanted to go this way... Oh, the dust will clear anyway. Never mind. Okay. But we have to have a certain spirit to activate to go on this ship. Uh, it's obviously more than likely a Star Fox spirit because, as you can see, that's a Star Fox ship. And it'll take us into outer space where... As you can see, there's a uh, area around. Now, if we were to land right there, we could actually go up to Galeem to fight him, but because the, the 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 shield hasn't been completely broken yet, we can't go up to him just yet, so we can't we can't really go that way just yet, just to let you know. So we're not out of the gates yet. Uh, but we'll worry about that later, because uh, I want to go into that portal thing, so... Um... Let me just go ahead and get this spirit, and then I'll go back down and get that fighter, and then maybe I'll find out what that little square rectangle, rect square-shaped uh, 
portal will go to, and then maybe I'll I'll go to that icicle state. Oh no, earthquakes! What Donkey Kong? Come on, man! What a great, what a crazy way to take advantage of that. I'm just gonna keep doing this. What are you doing? What move does he have? What move does he have? How is he doing that? Is this some kind of? It must be some kind of effect thing he must have somehow. I guess he must be just like a Yeti or something. Or maybe that's the... I don't know what that was. That was weird. How was he jumping down like that? What did he have on? I actually almost went off the stage a couple times, too. That actually almost killed me. If he would have did it again, I probably wouldn't have recovered. Peach's recovery is not that bad in the game, but it can be tricky, so you do want to be careful. Okay, yeah, if we go down there, we'd be able to go back all the way there, but we can't, so we have to go this way to get that fighter. There we go. So who's the fighter? Ooh, the ice climbers, nice. I guess this makes tons of sense, since we're on an icicle mountain stage, so I guess it makes tons of sense that we bump into the ice climbers. I mean, why wouldn't it? Alright, so now I'm gonna switch, to, so after this, I'll switch to Bowser after we defeat the ice climbers here. Boom! There we go. Of course, the blue one, Poe, is the main one you have to defeat. Uh, Nana... Is it Popo or just Poe? I think it was Popo, wasn't it? I don't know, but Popo and Nana, or Poe and Nana. But they're the two ice climbers. Poe, Poe, or Poe is the blue one, and then Nana is the pink one. But Poe is the main one we have to defeat. Nana is just being controlled by the AI, so... However, there is other t ways you can make it Nana to be the main one to KO if you have the alternate costumes where Nana is instead the main one instead of Poe. Oh, cool. So once we do that, apparently the icicles will go away, so now we can go back up. Cool. And there's an alternate path that now can be unlocked if we want to go into the forest now. Cool. How cool is that? Can we go down there, then? Oh, yes, we can go here. Nice. I want to see what this leads us to. I actually want to see where this takes us. I actually want to see where it takes us. Oh, it makes us go back to where we just came from. Cool. Nice. Well, that's good, because I was wanting to come back up here anyway, so we can go into that portal, and now we can uh, go in here and uh, complete this area. But before I do, let's go ahead and s well, let's switch both the fighters and... Um, switch, switch the fighter and the spirits. So we got the spirits back to where we want it to be, and now we will switch out with Bowser. It's been fun playing with you, Princess Peach, but... Peach, unfortunately, it's now time to be switched by your enemy, Bowser. So now we're gonna play as Bowser. Great character. Bowser's really a lot of fun to play as. Ooh, Temple of Light. This is a pretty cool stage. There's not a lot of room in this area, I don't think. There's not, yeah, it's not a big, big area, so this won't take us long to complete. Anyway, here's this character. Nairul? Nairul? I don't know how you say this girl's name, but obviously it's from Legend of Zelda. But the enemy will occasionally be invincible after a little while, and the enemy favors neutral specials. Okay. Definitely I'm not familiar with this character at all. I don't play all the Legend of Zelda games, so I'm not going to know who everybody is, just to let you know. I wonder what that instrument is that she has. Okay, two Zeldas. I'm pretty much going to end these fights, I think, a lot more quicker with Bowser, because Bowser's just a powerful character, so... I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to end the fights a lot more quicker with Bowser than I w will with Peach, because Bowser's a heavy character. You know, he's strong, he's powerful, so it don't take too long at all to complete fights with any character that you play as. It's kind of a heavy or strong character. Kudra from Kuldasep, I think that's how you say the name of the game she's from. But anyway, all fighters, magic, and PSI attacks have increased power, alright? Palatina is one of the fighters we have to face, or Palatina is the only one, excuse me. Interesting music playing in the background. Dropkick! That's a pretty cool forward attack for Bowser. Originally his forward smash from Super Smash Bros. Melee and Brawl used to be like where he does like a head, head attack, but... In Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS, as well as this game Ultimate, they switched it to a drop kick. At first, I didn't like it at first because it just looked a little awkward seeing a guy like him do a drop kick, but I've grown to like it more because it kind of is actually a bit more powerful. Ah, yes, this song. 
The song's pretty cool. It's the Retro Kid Arcus game. It's classic. It's classic. Just classic. Um, anyway, here's this guy from Fire Emblem. I figured it was from Fire Emblem, because I saw the fighter we have to fight is, is Krom, so I figured, is this a Fire Emblem character? And yeah, I was right. Sometimes the characters that you fight with a certain spirit for them, it, sometimes it can ultimately remote about characters that are from the same game as them, so it's kind of cool. It doesn't always go with the characters that are from the same game, but in times it will. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I mean, he was going to die anyway because he couldn't get back on the map, but I threw my sword at the right time, and even though Krom was trying to go for the up, the, the ether move, that, which is also Ike's move, <sighs> apparently I hit him with the sword and just made him die that way instead of falling off the map. Cool. Anyway, here's a fighter we can get. This is Simon. Simon from Castlevania. Alright, Simon. Now, Simon and Richter... I play as him a little bit sometimes in this game, but I don't play as him very often. Not enough very often, you know what I mean? They're okay characters, but they were a little bit tough for me to learn to play as, so... I eventually decided to quit playing as him, but I still play as them on occasions, but their moves and special attacks, you know, like their specials, like their whiplash and the axe, and they're kind of hard to pull off combos with them, so... I... I really wanted to try to learn to play as them, sort of, a bit, but they were kind of tough, so I kind of ultimately decided to stop playing as them and didn't play as them nearly as much after a while. But enough to know us, both Simon and Richter are still fun anyway, but anyway, uh, portal opens up, so, uh, now's the next part of the area, the next part of the Temple of Light, and there's another path we can go to. Oh, and look at that, there's another fighter, and then there's a crystal, it looks like we're gonna have to get that crystal, so, uh... Gonna have to go up there, but before we do, there's more spirits. Infinity from Bayonetta. Affinity, or Affinity, I don't know. I think it's Affinity, I don't know. But, it's, it's three pits, or no, f uh, four pits. So we gotta take care of these four pits. One is big. Wait, no, they're all the same size, excuse me. I thought one of them was bigger than the other, but... <laughs> just use my fire to breathe fire on them. I'll just set them on fire. Uh, if this was to be reality, if Bowser was to do that to Pit, he definitely would be dead. He'd probably even destroy his wings as well. <clears throat> oh, there's two different ways we can go, apparently. Uh, we can go that way, actually, if we wanted to. Actually, I don't know. Which way should we go? I'll go both ways to see what happens. Anyway, there are winds involved in this one, so yep, I definitely need to put a, a wind immunity spirit on to prevent me from getting blown away when facing Wind Man, or Mega Man, technically, but the spirit is Wind Man, so... Gotta prevent wind from getting involved. Whoa, he planted a bomb on me. Alright, Mega Man. Boom! The Bowser Bomb. I do remember that that move is actually called the Bowser Bomb, so... <laughs> I just remember that just now. Anytime I do that down B, that move is called the Bowser Bomb. I like that Bowser Bomb. His down aerial when you're in the air and you press down air, he, when you press down A when you're in the air with Bowser, he kind of does the same thing, but it's not as powerful as the down B, though. But, it's, but it might be a little better, though, because you have better... I think you can move left and right a little bit with the down A, but I don't know. Anyway, this is a uh, three Pokemon. I don't know how you pronounce their name, so I'm not going to worry about it. But we have to face Lucario, Duck Hunt, and Yoshi to take and take them out and get the spirit. Ready, and they all got swords. That's that's pretty good. And I knew that was gonna happen. Drop kick. There goes one. There we go. I forgot that I couldn't jump. I was having a hard time moving a little bit there, but I got him. Alrighty, so, uh, what's next? Do we get that treasure chest? Because it looks like it's behind. Oh, yeah, we don't get it because it's behind. Yeah, I didn't see the lock, so I'm thinking it's behind, so we have to go in there to actually get it. So, first, we gotta take care of these spirits. 
I don't know how you say this guy's name, but apparently he's at the star of his own video game, apparently. As it said, glory of however you say his name. I, I really can't bother to pronounce this guy's name. I don't know who that is, so... Oh, I forgot to switch my spirits back on. I realize I have the Super Shadow Spirit on still. I'll switch it out in the next fight. Sometimes I get carried away. I forget to switch the spirit sometimes. I usually only put the Super Shadow Spirit as well as a different spirit on when there's immunity systems involved in some of them. So, uh, let me go ahead and switch it now. There's nothing in there. This, this is a Moblin. Now, this is the Moblin. We bumped into a, um, a different kind of Moblin earlier, but this is the actual Moblin. And we have to fight an arm, uh, four King DDDs. The enemy favors down specials, and the enemy has reduced move speed. Alright. And it's pretty cool, it's got the original Legend of Zelda game music playing. Listen to that. The OG retro Legend of Zelda game music. Pretty cool, huh? Always great to hear some good old classic music. Come on, come on over, Moblin. Alright, so now that the Moblin spirit is collected, I think we should get that open, because there's nothing else. Nope, not yet. Oh, uh, maybe the switch will activate it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Now we can get the door open. Now we can get through. Oh, we can't actually go there yet. We have to get this spirit. This is a Fire Emblem character. Tharja? I think that's how you say your name, Darja. But anyway, oh, the stage is covered in a poisonous cloud, so uh, I have the option of choosing do I want to prevent myself from being poisoned or fogged. So I can use the Sak Sakura Fire Emblem Spirit to prevent me from poison, or I can use the Ashley Robin Spirit to prevent me from fog. But poison is obviously more deadly, so I gotta put the poisonous on. The fog don't bother me that much, so let's get it. Anyway, this character... She looks like a student because she's carrying a book on her, in her hands or something, but... Anyway, this costume of, uh, Lucina is a pretty perfect resemblance to the character because she's, she's dressed in black and she has black hair color just like the character, so... I guess that costume, that alternate costume that Lucina was in was probably the inspiration by this character, I'm guessing? She kind of almost looks like Lucina in a bit, so I guess maybe it would make sense. Although I know nothing about the character, but never mind. Doesn't matter. Took care of that pretty easily. So now we can go to get the treasure chest. There we go. Now we can get it. <laughs> spirit was inside of it. Oh, uh, this spirit. This is from Kid Arcaris, but it's a... It's like one of those fake treasure chests, this kind of. As you can see, it's got legs in it. There's no immunity in this spirit, so we're good. We'll just go into the fight as the way it is. It looks weird seeing a treasure chest with legs. And we're fighting Zero Suit Samus. In this blue costume. This isn't her main costume, but it's one of her alternates. That and the orange costume are kind of similar because she dresses differently. Like she's wearing shorts and, you know. Those cross. I was surprised when I figured out those two costumes actually came from the Metroid games. Like she actually wore those costumes. But never mind. Uh, that takes care of that. So now we can get this fighter. I believe this is Pit. It has to be, right? Because we fought kind of a bit of Kid Arcus spirits. I'm believing this is Pit. Yep, this is Pit. The star of Kid Arcus himself, Pit the Angel, so yep. I had a feeling it had to be Pit, because I think I was remembering, oh wait, doesn't Pit appear in here? Like, aren't we fighting Pit in this stage? Like, we have to unlock him? And yep, I was correct. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Some of the new noises sounds that he has in this game, as well as Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS, are pretty funny. That's like the new voice he received in Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS, and then they kept it here in Ultimate. His original voice from Brawl was a bit different. I don't know if it was voiced by the same guy, but it was the, the sound's effect and his <laughs> voice and noises were different in Super Smash Bros. Brawl when he made his debut in that game. Not to mention the face design kind of changed a little bit too for him. He kind of has a little bit of a different face design and more from Brawl. Oh, anyway, now that we get that area completed, there we go. The bridge will finally open, meaning we can finally cross it now back in the main stage area. So when we exit out of here, we can cross the bridge now. Awesome. So that was the key to uh, getting that open. We had to uh, get that crystal. And defeat Pit while we were at it. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here now. We're pretty much done with this area. It's complete. Yep, there's a star, so yep, we did it. But, we're still kind of not technically done with this whole part yet, because there's still some more spirits we gotta get here before we go over to that bridge. These will be some of the last few spirits we can get before we cross the bridge, I think, so we're not quite done just yet. So let's get on board the ship. Slippy Toad will help us on board the Star Fox spaceship, and we'll cross some bridges, get some treasure chest, and apparently we can get a fighter up here after we get those two spirits, so let me get it real quick. Ooh, Starship Mario, nice, from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Gravity is reduced. I uh, don't really have to put it on, but... I'll put it on because I want to. I don't want it to affect me. Even though gravity don't really bother me that much, so I could have just went in here without it. But never mind. Giant Mario. That's Starship Mario from Super Mario Galaxy Two. It's a pretty cool ship. And look at that! It appears in the background as well. Look, it appears in the background on this stage, this Super Mario Galaxy stage. So we can actually see it make a cameo appearance. Oh, he kicked me. Night night. And it is pretty funny because even in the video game itself, when you meet one of the Toads talking about the ship, it says it reminds them more of, of Luigi than it does with Mario. And it does make tons of sense. I mean, because uh, the green is made out of grass, but it definitely does look more like Luigi. And we do actually get to play as Luigi in the game, too, actually. At the very end of the game, we can actually switch between Mario and Luigi at the end of the game to pick who we want to play as, which is incredible. Anyway, there's this character from Star Fox. Uh, high gravity, so... Better keep that spirit on. So I better keep that spirit on because it prevents gravity, so... Your jump power decreases an enemy, yeah. So, better keep that spirit on. Oh, Meta Ridley. Or Metal Ridley, excuse me. Not Meta Ridley, Meta Ridley. Jeez, look at the damage. <laughs> Waited just in the right time for me to wait for him to get up above me, for me to hit him with my up smash. Driving those spikes into him and sending him flying into the air. And now we can get this fighter. Who is it? Falco. I was actually about to take a guess it was going to be Falco, but I was like, I don't know, am I right? So I was just taking a guess because of the Starship Fox that we're in, and because we just took care of a Star Fox spirit before we got to Falco, so I was like, is this Falco? And yep, it is. First Fox, and now Falco. I don't think we get Wolf until later, though, so I don't think we're going to bump into Wolf anytime soon. We won't get Wolf till later. So we got Fox earlier, and now we got Falco. Nice. I don't mind Fox and Falco, they're okay to play as a bit. They're a bit different because, you know, Fox is quicker and stuff, but, you know, they're both cool to play as. And I don't mind Wolf a bit, I don't play as them too often, but Fox, Falco, and Wolf, the Star Fox characters, aren't too bad to play as, I guess. So I'll give them some credit, but, you know, I think they might be a little bit too fast for me to play as a bit, in a way. Although that might be a bit of an unpopular opinion, because I do play as Sonic the Hedgehog every once in a while, and I like him. And he was my number one main in Super Smash Bros. Brawl 2, Sonic the Hedgehog, but once I got into, like, Super Smash Bros. But when I started playing Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS and then this game, I don't know, there was just other characters that were interesting more to me more than Sonic. But Sonic's still cool enough in OS. But in this version of the game, Sonic's not my main, my main guy here. Anyway, that was Trace from Metroid, I believe. Yeah, that was on Trace from Metroid. So much further... Right, I'm just checking the maps just to make sure. Which way do we want to go? Um, I might want to end it over there. Yeah, let's go down here first. <laughs> this character, Jody Summer from F Zero. This is a racer, and just judging by the way she appears, she probably wouldn't normally dress like that if she was not a racer. Like, you could tell, like, even though she's wearing a bodysuit, but if she didn't have that purple covering her arms and legs, then you know what she'd be wearing, but... Obviously, for... For sort of PG reasons, and because it is a kid game, I think F-Zero is a kid's game, so... Because of those reasons, the character does have to dress more appropriate, like... 
And plus, since this game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, is for everyone, they do kind of do some sensory ship in this game as well. Like, some characters, by the way, on how they dress and all that stuff, do actually have a bit of sensor ship, you know what I mean? So, this game does do some sensoring in this game. This game, as well as Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii and 3DS, compared to the last games. In Melee and Brawl, they kind of didn't really care all that much, although I think there was still some sensoring, but didn't care as much because it was for teen for teens, but when it went back to everyone, once Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS and then Ultimate, they kind of went back to everyone, where then they kept it up from kids, you know, so they they uh, did some censoring shit. You can learn all about it if you watch YouTube videos about it. I've watched YouTube videos talking about the censorships in Smash Brothers, Or like how some of the characters, like, from some of the games, how they originally look like, but then when they appeared as either fighters or spirits or trophies in Super Smash Bros., they appear different compared to their actual, like, appearance in the games because, you know, PG reasons kind of like wise or kid-friendly wise stuff, you know? It's part of how it is supposed to be, you know, because this game is popular and, you know, it is for everyone, so... Whew, who's that? Aerial Planet. Wolfen. I'm thinking this is the name of Wolf's ship, I'm guessing, because it would make tons of sense, but anyway... Wolf is the main fighter we have to get, so, uh, let's get him. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to switch my spirits. <laughs> Two, air three aerial attacks, the headbutt for the win. Yeah, Super Shadow, by the way. I keep telling you that Super Shadow, when you have him on, he'll make you go very fast, so that's why I was running real fast there compared to how it is. Oh, yes, yeah, so see, if, if, but we can go up there. A shield prevents you from getting any closer, so if the shield wasn't, if the shield was not here, we'd be able to go up there and face Galeen, but we have to wait till later because we have to get the whole area done, so we'll have to worry about it later. Anyway, uh, let me switch spirits now. There's no immunity systems in this one. What was this character's name? Starman. Okay, yeah, this is from uh, Earthbound. And this is actually an assist trophy character, so this trophy will appear as you'll see. Oh, God. You can... Wow, that was a quick stamina battle. I even KO'd him before Sta Starman could even hit me. But you can KO Starman. You can KO him, just to let you know. I have done it before. So if I would have lasted any more longer, I probably would have killed Starman before I killed Ness, but I didn't. Just making sure I didn't miss nothing. Let me get that uh, dojo first. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Why is that so hard to control? Oh, we have to go all the way around. Okay, so we can't go to the left. Never mind. We have to go all the way around. Take your strongest team into this no frill battle. Luma from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. <laughs> four, four Kirby's, a yellow, green, red, and blue Kirby, which kind of represents some of the colors of some of the Lumas in the game, so that's pretty appropriate. Very appropriate. <laughs> nice. My down, my down smash kind of, like, went backwards, hit both of them. So, yep, there we got Luma. So, uh, what's next? Ooh. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting tired. Magalore. Kirby. Ooh. Better, better get a good spirit on, because the screen's going to flip in this one. Do I have a spirit that can prevent screens from being flipped, or no? Do I have a spirit that can prevent screens from being flipped? I don't remember. I don't think there is. I think I tried checking the last time and I didn't see any spirits that said that they could prevent screens from being flipped. So yeah, I don't think there is. Oh no, there is one. Look. There it is. So we can actually now prevent the screen from being flipped now with this Paradise Queen spirit from uh, Metroid. Because I think I could have sworn I thought I saw one before. Even though it doesn't bother me that much, I'd still be able to win even if the screen was flipped. But we can prevent it from being flipped with a spirit, so cool. Uh-oh. So, yep, we won't be affected by screens flipping because we have a spirit on that prevents that, so... Oh, I thought he was dead. Well, now he's dead. I don't know how Robin survived that, but never mind. This is a pretty cool stage. I do like this stage. Alright, so now we can go either two ways. We can go to the dojo, we can go up here. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to the dojo first. Oh! Peppy Hair from Star Fox. Cool. I do remember this bunny-like character. I do remember him. I don't play the Star Fox game, but... Play any Star Fox games, but I do remember him. Defeat the main fighter to win. We first will appear. Yep. So, apparently, uh, King DDD is the main fighter we have to beat, but we will have to be careful because Fox and Falco will try to come in. Yep. Oh, there we are. Already coming in for backup. And because this... And because the character's a rabbit, as you can see, King dedede has got bunny ears on, so he's gonna be moving just like a rabbit. We took out Fox and Falco, but this character's not gonna wanna make contacts. So this is gonna be... This character does not wanna make contact with me. Oh, look! Broke the shield. Perfect. Perfect. We needed that kind of, actually, to stop him from moving around, because he was jumping all over the place. I wasn't sure how long that was gonna take, to be honest. With those bunny rabbit ears, he really sure had a lot. And he was tiny, too. King DD was tiny. Anyway, so now we have another dojo, air-style dojo, if we wanted to go in there, but we're not going to, so... Let's get this last spirit, and I think we should be able to go to the bridge, I think, afterwards. Gino, from Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. And it's appropriate that we're seeing this, because... Recently, they just remade the Super Mario R uh, RPG game. Like, the original game was computer, I think, or something, but they remade it for the Nintendo Switch. It was announced, like, early this year that they would bring it to the Switch, but it would be animated different compared to its original animation, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty appropriate that we're seeing it now. Not to mention that, um, people did request in the past for Geno to be in Super Smash Bros., but obviously that never came to be. But I've seen it before, like, some people actually requested to want to see Gino as a character in the game, but... Obviously that never happened. <laughs> oh, didn't expect that to actually kill him. Or kill Sheik, or kill her, excuse me. You know what I meant to say, sorry. Oh, reached the limits. That's fine. Alright, so I think that should be the last spirit, and now we can go to that bridge now. Yep, that's everything as far as I'm concerned, so I think we pretty much got all the spirits, everybody. When we look back at all the area, check the whole, almost the whole area, we don't really see anything else, so yep, I think we pretty much got the whole area, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we pretty much got all the spirits, you guys. I think this is the whole area. Yeah, I think we did it. I think we got over all the spirits. I think this is literally the whole area, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're done. Here in this this side of the map. I think we're actually got the whole area done. So yep, now we can go down here and we can get the go to the bridge. So we're done. We can go to the bridge now. Let me get the heck out of here first. We gotta get back out of here. Now it's all the way down there though, so how am I gonna get there? Am I gonna have to actually run all the way over there? Or maybe I can go down there to the, towards that green warp pipe and I can warp over there a little bit faster. I mean, I can run all the way over there, it's fine, but maybe I'll go to that green warp pipe and I'll take a shortcut by going down there. So let me get to that green warp pipe. Where's it at? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shortcut. I'm gonna go through this green warp pipe. And it's appropriate we do it with Bowser because we are playing as a Mario character. Yeah, when you run with Bowser, you can see he makes heavy foot stomps because he's a big character, so it makes sense. And here we are, there's the bridge. So he made it to the bridge, ladies and gentlemen. And with all the spirits and fighters pretty much being done on this side of the map, pretty much this will conclude it for now, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm actually going to end it off right here because this is where we're going to leave it off because we're pretty much about to reach up to the 50-minute mark in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. So when we come back in the next video... We, uh, we'll get across this bridge and continue on with the mission as we'll collect more spirits and fighters. And before I do exit out, I'm going to switch back to Link so that way I can play as Link in the next video because pretty much I already played as Princess Peach and Bowser like I said I wanted to in this video. So we're going to go back to, uh, or maybe I could play as Pit for the next video because I'm actually going to play a little bit of Pit. So you know what? Maybe I'll play as Pit in the next video. So I, I am at least going to try to play as some different characters, even though Link and Wii Fit Trainer are the two characters that are some of my main characters that I really play the most out of all the roster so far, but you know what? 
I gotta try it out with some other characters every once in a while. Maybe I'll play as Pip for a little bit in the next video, and then maybe I'll go back to either Link or We Fit Trainer in the next video. But we'll worry about that in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna leave it off right here. I hope you guys had a good one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Share this with all your friends. And if you're enjoying the series as much as I am, be sure to keep on. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and stay notified whenever a new video is out. Uh, I'll be getting into part. I believe 10, I believe, is the next one. I think part 10 will be the next one. But we'll get into the next part real, real soon. But until then, I'm going to end it off right here, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had a good one. I'll see you again very, very soon. See ya. That'll be it for today, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Just like you give it a thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. Tell your boys, men, and guys out there. Boom. This one's good on you. Until the girls, ladies, and women women out there. Come on. Kisses got to you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off. And have a good day.